Hey Star Wars fans and action fig collectors, welcome back to another video for this week. Boy have we had some reveals this week, it has been huge for Star Wars fans and collectors this week. It has been huge. Uh, just last night, as I record this, uh, Hasbro Pulse Premium members had access to a live stream full of reveals, uh, known simply as it is on screen, 1027, uh, being that it is the date, 1027, and Hasbro's uh, address is at 1027 so thought I'd talk about the four black series figures that were revealed just yesterday and share a few images and just a couple of thoughts as I go along here so first up we have the second tech figure from the black series we recently just got his arc trooper version back in the Clone Wars thing line subline a few months back and now we're finally got revealed the uh the bad batch version which is going to be absolutely awesome given that we've I've, we've literally just completed the uh the original four members of the bad batch so i'm absolutely thrilled with this one he's going to be fantastic this is probably my pick of the bunch to be honest um yeah really thrilled with this one and we get a quick look at the image here which he has a little like a grappling attachment i don't recall him using that in the uh, in the show but we've seen a couple of toys with this attachment now um the mission series one i think had it as well um but yeah he's looking fantastic really looking forward to to bad batch echo and of course you can't round out the bad batch without its youngest member omega well technically she's older but yeah, we're finally getting Omega. She looks fantastic. What an awesome looking figure. Good accessories. Um, I feel like she should have come with a with a with a gonky. Honestly. Uh, that would have been a cool little cool little addition, but yeah, looking good either way. She comes with a little creature, which I can't remember the name off off the top of my head, but it's looking pretty cool. I always love the little creatures and stuff that they add in with the Black Series these days. Like we've had a few now, so I'm, I'm all for it. I'm all for the little little world building additions. I think it's really cool. So here's an image of her with her little crossbow that she has, which is awesome. Um, yeah, nice accessory. I think that was a cool weapon in the show too. I'm not sure. Sort of I can't sort of tell whether it's going to be like a uh, like a purple elastic band or whether it's fixed in place like that we'll see hopefully soon sooner rather than later just to get an idea of what's coming i think that'd be cool but the other additional accessory here is a breather mask which i find really interesting as an accessory um being that it was such a sort of short used part in the series when they couldn't even give uh tech his goggles so um yeah it's a little bit of what are you doing here guys like does she need it does does tech need does tech need his goggles? Yes, he does. Does out does Omega need a breather? Probably not. But it looks cool either way. I'll take I'll take what we can get. It's it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be cool when she comes out. So next up, in my opinion, is one that is absolutely long awaited. Bib Fortuna from Return of the Jedi. I think a lot of people were, were speculating whether we'd get this version or Bib Fat Tuna from um, the uh, Book of Boba Fett and or technically yeah book of boba fett um from when he's on his throne i think that would be a cool figure to see at some point particularly when they kick off a line of uh, book of boba fett um specific action figures which i think would be great um yeah loving loving seeing some more return of the jedi stuff i, I uh, can't get enough and uh they're gonna start building up on some some more jabba's aliens bib fortuna's the uh the go-to to kick that off and I'll say from the get-go that I'm I'm not too fussy that they haven't gone with the soft goods for this one. I think that it's going to be that really sort of soft, malleable plastic. And let's be honest, he's probably more than likely just going to be standing there on the shelf. We're not setting up Bib Fortuna in dynamic action poses like you do with like a Jedi or a Mandalorian or something like that. So I'm I'm cool with that. I think it'll flow nicely. I think it'll look good. Interesting. It looks like he comes with three cups. Um, I'm not sure what the go with that is, but it's cool. It's nice to see him with some accessories. I'm interested to see whether he will come with a knife. Um, I know there was the original trilogy collection one. I believe he came with a knife back in the day. But yeah, cool looking figure. I'm excited for Bib Fortuna. And last but not least, we have the Stormtrooper Jedi Patrol from Rogue One. And this is just a perfect, perfect opportunity to reuse that Stormtrooper mold that is just perfection to be honest that's my that's my personal opinion uh the new stormtrooper mold is beautiful 
We have a slew of Rogue One figures that are bound to come out before the end of the year. I can sort of see a few of them online that are starting to trickle out now. Really looking forward to the Rogue One figures coming out in the Black Series um, and increasing that sort of original figure line shelf. Um, particularly in my own collection will be fantastic and uh, yeah looking forward to adding more characters this one is a uh, definite for me and uh, as with the last image we got a good look at his backpack his sort of patrol backpack got all his gear in it which looks good and yeah this image here of the uh, he's, he's definitely on patrol we think he looks fantastic just a sort of nice variation of the sand trooper I guess in some some respects um, but yeah, straight out of Rogue One. It's fantastic. It looks great. Um, look forward to seeing people weather this one up and uh, yeah, make it look even better. So yeah, looking forward to this one. So yeah, that wraps it up for the Pulse Premium 1027 event uh, that was, again, online exclusive to Premium Pulse uh, members. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of these four reveals. Hopefully we've got some more TVC just around the corner and there's a lot of TVC fans that we're hoping for a little bit of a nod with this uh with this live stream but uh yeah hopefully in the near to not too distant future we'll see some more reveals coming out so keep your fingers crossed guys hang tight more will come you'll get it don't worry about it but yeah some cool black series reveals let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do and i'll see you on the next one may the force be with you